Right now, everyone is freaking out, as well as myself, about Iron Sing and new content, but let's take a step back. How much do you really know about Deepwoken? What's up, guys? It's Punchy, and today, let's explore the design of the ancient Kanor. Real quick, in-game, if we take a look at Kanor, they'll be quite different from the other races. Of course, their faces have different eyes, different eyebrows, and different mouths from all the other races right now. They definitely stand apart, and that's just without their racial cosmetics, which make them even more unique. Special war paint and bonus hair are added on top to make the Kanor feel even more canine, and what do you guys think? Do they look like dogs? But what if I told you that this was not their initial design? I asked Archmage about this, and he told me that Kanor went through quite the design process. Much of their racial markings and skin color stayed the same, but their faces were tough to get down. In game, we can see the Kanor we're all used to, with their giant eyebrows and special eyes. Well, in the past, they had rectangular eyebrow design. Several years ago, before Deepwoken was even called Deepwoken, it was called Drowned Gods, they released their eyebrows as giant squares. To be honest, this kind of reminds me of Rock Lee from Naruto, but I guess the Kanor design was not a part of their initial vision for Deepwoken, but it gets even weirder. That last design, you know, that was kind of basic, but way before that, the Kanor looked like this. It's weird, right? They have normal eyes, still rectangular eyebrows, but take a look at that face and mouth. It's insane how much this has changed from old Deepwoken, but for some reason, Kanor was supposed to have a fanged, more animalistic look. I think the main reason behind having a mouth like this was to portray the race as a dog. I mean, they're canines, so I guess they were supposed to look like them. What's even funnier about this whole situation is that it reminds me instantly of Monad Studios' previous game, Rogue Lineage. A lot of people have not played this game, but it's exactly like the Casperin race from back in the day. It's not a carbon copy from Rogue Lineage, but the Casperin race was supposed to represent dragons. I mean dogs, dragons, there's a pretty big difference besides the letter D, but I think the Deep Oaken team wanted to stay away from Rogue Lineage ideas, cause people would definitely say something. There's a whole bunch of character and race designs that were inspired by Rogue Lineage, and it's really interesting to observe how they have evolved into what we see today. That's only Kanor, but there's a few more races like Seltor that went through giant changes, and even more recent stuff like the old Ark Warder had unseen original designs. I'll ask around, but if you guys want to see more ancient deep bulking content and how they changed, let me know down below. Would you be an ancient Kanor if this was added back into deep bulking? As always, make sure to like and subscribe, and thank you guys. We just hit 52k subs, so let's aim for 53. Have a good one, and it's punching time.